I'll tell you what, after 13 years, trick shots are getting a lot harder to come up with. Thankfully for us, with the help of the technology in Apex Legends, we're doing things that we never thought were possible. For example, picture this across the expanse of the Grand Canyon. Yeah! Did you make no! it? No! Hey, get back! Oh! Ah! What the hell is even that? Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about what's going on with Apex Legends and EA more importantly, as it does look like it is going to be doing some stuff with some other major companies which could have a huge impact on the future of the game and the new content releasing alongside of it. We're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's talk about what the state of the game is. So Apex Legends for a long time has had a fan base that wants to see some kind of TV show. We do know that there are a ton of developments going on right now for a number of different intellectual properties in video games. TV shows like The Last of Us, Cyberpunk that just came out, Tomb Raider and anime series, The Witcher series on Netflix, Arcane season two, and Assassin's Creed. The streaming platforms for a long time have been looking for a way to get even more properties to make into TV shows. And Chad Grenier, former director of Respawn and Apex Legends, back in season six says he would love to do a show that sounds awesome. Netflix animated series of Apex signed him up. Right now they were focusing on the game, but it's been about eight seasons since they said that. We even got Tim Lewin who is also a Respawn developer said that he had some conversations to follow up come January based off an arcane intro but instead it was using Apex Legends indicating that this was something that they had planned. But the question has been when are we going to finally get this? Well it might be sooner than a lot of you are thinking but there's a kind of weird story behind it all. The first thing to know is that we do know that there is an Apex Legends single player game focusing on the story of the universe. This will have all of our legends that we normally see in the game but instead of combating against each other in a battle royale there will be some narrative drama going on. There there was a Respawn dev that was the narrative design director that was actually in charge of this project. Unfortunately, he left. He had been with Respawn for 11 years, meaning he was with Apex Legends since the beginning. It does have me a little concerned that he's now gone from the project, and so many other members at Respawn have left the team that I'm not sure how amazing this game could be. However, if Jedi Fallen Order is, is any indication of them being able to do storyline games after most of the development team have left, it might be better than a lot of us are thinking it will be. Now, obviously, with the single player title coming out, they're going to go even more into the story than just the stories from the outline we get and this sets it up perfectly for a TV show to be built around it. The question is who's actually going to be taking charge of this project in terms of a streaming service and what could actually happen here is something absolutely crazy where EA no longer is the big dog on top and they get bought out by someone else. There were some rumors about Amazon buying. Amazon and EA both declined and said that this was not true and it never did actually end up happening. Now there were two other big companies that wanted to buy it one being Comcast but that fell apart. The main centerpiece that EA wants when they get bought out is the fact that Andrew Wilson will remain in charge of EA even after this merger takes place, which NBC Universal was willing to do. However, there was a pricing issue. There was also talks with Apple, as Apple's headquarters and EA headquarters is only about 30 minutes away from each other. I used to live right in between them, and Apple has been trying to go into the video game market. However, they don't usually make as big of an acquisition as something like EA, the biggest one being Beats Music and Beats Electronics in 2014. But the most interesting one, and that seems the most likely, is that Andrew Wilson, the CEO of EA, actually directly approached Disney in March in what people described as more of a meaningful relationship than licensing deals as the Star Wars license is no longer with EA. And out of all the companies, Disney might be willing to spend the most amount of money to get EA. Disney hasn't had a great track record with their own video game studios, and so buying a giant might be the other method that they end up doing. When you look at deals in the past year, Microsoft has bought Activision and Blizzard, Take-Two bought Zynga, Microsoft also bought Bethesda, and then you have stuff like Sony buying Bungie. The video game studio Studio market is getting very much smushed together and all the major companies are putting them into one company. EA is arguably one of the most expensive ones that you could buy as it does have a huge amount of property and this also makes sense because Disney Plus doesn't really have any video game series on right now to compete with any of the other big market ones like Netflix. The only question though and I want your guys' opinion on this is do you think that if Disney bought EA it would be a good move and it would work well with fans or do you think this is going to be an absolute disaster? Also I want to give a big thank you to Glitch Gaming and PDP for sending me the Vitrix Gambit for the Xbox and PC, along with the Pro BFG for PlayStation and PC. These controllers are both fantastic, have completely mappable buttons, come at a great price point, and honestly, I use them now exclusively. I was having a huge issue with the Series 2 Xbox Elite controller with the bumpers continually going out. I haven't had any issues so far with these at all, and they 
they actually reduce input lag to make it so that you can play Apex Legends even a little bit better, which is absolutely massive as Apex Legends always has a problem with input lag. You guys can check out the product in the description down below and use my code to get 10% off if you guys are interested for this holiday season. Until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.